Hello again, Jules fans. Welcome back to the latest episode of Jules in the Blood TV. It's Tuesday night and it is match day live under the floodlights. It's raining, uh, but it's quite warm, which is weird. Well, it's about 18 degrees. It's nearly November. Um, Doncaster at home tonight. Relegation six point, yes. Yeah, I think it's almost a must win already, isn't it? I think we certainly must not lose. But yeah, you're probably right considering we've played one or two more than all those below us. Certainly don't want them winning and going probably above us with games in hand. Yeah. Uh, in terms of team news, nice and easy. Yeah, I'm changed. And that's the 18, not just the 11. So, Jill's team in full. Jamie coming in goal. Back four, Ryan Jackson, Jack Tucker, no. Ryan Jackson, Reese Bennett, Max Amar, Robbie McKenzie. Jack Tucker sat in the holding role. Stuart O'Keefe and Carl Dempsey either side. Front three of Danny Lloyd, Mustafa Carriol and Bedane Oliver. And then the bench is as is on Saturday. Boz, score prediction. 2-1 Jill's a 2-1. Goal scorers? Two 0 Tuesday night clean sheet. It's the only one we've had, isn't it? At Cambridge yeah, in the league. Yeah. So I'm going to go two 0 I'm going to go Oliver and the skipper tonight to finally get off the mark for the season. We'll bring you more footage as and when the game gets started. Good evening, everyone, and a very warm welcome to Men's Priestfield Stadium for tonight's Jules uh, against Stockton for the League One game. Just to remind you, a couple of games. You might not be fully aware of Jules will be at home next Tuesday uh, in the Papa John Trophy and that's home to West Ham under 21. Uh, there's details of that in your programme. If uh, you want to get a programme, you can find it There's a game, that's the vision. 10 minutes until kick-off, uh, players have just gone back in for their final preparations, joined by Glenn as always. Team, uh, unchanged tonight Glenn, you pleased with that? I'm very happy with that, we look good with Whip, and I've just been uh, discussing that with your esteemed colleague. Uh, we always look good when we, when we play with Whip, any team does. Mm -hmm. You know, we were just fantasising about having Graham and Carrier on the pitch. Well, that'd be but, nice. So that'd be lovely, but you know what, we did look a lot better. Fe felt a bit queasy after the final whistle, I felt a little bit cheated on Saturday. But this is a massive opportunity for us to get three points and I think we need three points. Very happy with an unchanged team, always good to name someone unchanged. Glad Tucker is fit to play after that crunch and tackle. He did really well in midfield I think on Saturday. Well worth that place mm -hmm. and long may that continue. But yeah, happy to see us play with Wick mate to be honest, that was the highlight for me. Um, and really and truly we should have had something on Saturday but alas, didn't quite happen. Sorry, so, we, we did, we didn't. Much better performance, yep. play like that tonight. What are you yeah. thinking? Score, score wise. Um, I, again, just discussing, I don't think we have a clean sheet in us, sadly. I'm sorry to say that, I just don't think we have it. You said that at Cambridge. Exactly. Well, we did and we won 2 0, which is. <laughs> and that was on Tuesday night. It was, all right then. Uh, I, I still think 3 1 Jills. I still think we, we will concede one. But I think hopefully we play we did on Saturday, create some chances. I think we'll knock a few away. Don't instead, we score first here tonight. Their confidence will just sat yeah, out. And we've looked at their away record this season. Absolutely. Shocking, lost 6 out of 6, scored yep. twice, conceded 15. Yeah, remind you, mate, look what happened when we went to Shrewsbury. This what happened when we went to Shrewsbury. Look, I'm a bit more confident now playing with Wit. Unchanged team, happy with Saturday's performance despite the result, and yeah, 3 1 Jills. Enjoy the game, mate. Thanks, man. Stuart O'Keefe switches off, gets back and does well. But then Reese Bennett there, just, just looking around, not, no reaction at all. And I'm not sure it is, is it Hawula? Luckily, he's hit the side net, but he should score. Uh, four minutes played. Chances for the Jules, boss. Pinball in their box, two blocks. After their centre half switched off, seems to be the thing. The defenders don't want to defend. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be an open game, I think. 
Three kick in. Uh, foul on. Yeah, he's gone out. What, foul on Mackenzie, wasn't it, I think? Looks too far out to shoot. Carl Dempsey's over it. Looks like that run at the far post. Amar and Bennett have peeled off. Amar's won the first quarter. Oh. No, he hasn't. He's going to have to come back to Ryan Jackson on the halfway line. Still nil-nil. Seven minutes back. Three kicks are Rovers here. Was pretty innocuous challenge, wasn't it? But the referee's given it. It's going to be Ben Close, I think. No, it's not going to be Bostock. Driven that. That's... Wow, that is wonderful. Just been talking about him. Tottenham and Palace is a kid, and that is one of the worst set pieces you're likely to see. Still nil-nil. <laughs> Mackenzie's yeah. just hit the post, that's the second time in three days. Paul, uh, was it long throw, wasn't it? Got cleared, he's headed the edge of the box. I'm not sure if Dahlberg would have had it covered, but it's clipped the outside of the post on the way out. But, frustration for Jules, another injury. We just can't seem to get through 90 minutes without one at the moment, and it's Mustafa carry on. So it looks like a change same, of shape. Same leg, isn't it? Looks like the same muscle problem, yeah, which is frustrating. Especially when you've got that Bolton on Saturday as well. But um, 28 minutes, not much to report. Still nil nil, not a great game. The corner of the defender, yeah, 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 you should be unhappy that the cross going. It was two on one, the one managed to dig the cross out. It's going to be Ben Close taking it. Eventually, he might take it. Here it comes. First contact. Drifted out for a gun kick. Doncaster on top at the moment, aren't they? Getting in behind, getting through us too easily. Still in the late chance here, boss. We find some quality with the last chance of the half. Yeah, free kick. Wide and well right. Dempsey and Lloyd over it. Dempsey steps over it. Lloyd in swinging. It's been defended well to be fair. Robbie McKenzie. He's got it back. He's had a go. Oh! Looks close for Mr. I'm not sure how close it is, but Robbie McKenzie's been our biggest goal for so far. Headed it at the post and a drive from about 30 yards. Still going well. Oh, oh, Half time at the Priestfield, um, Tillingham nil, Doncaster nil. Has it been that good? There's not a lot to talk about, is there? We are struggling here. We look very flat since we've had to make the change because we've got no width high up the pitch now, have we? So we're quite predictable. Yeah, and Lloyd is trying, but that's about it. But um, Doncaster's best chance came, I think, when was it Hawula went round coming, but the angle was too wide and he slapped it into the side and let him. They glanced the header across goal. That's about it, though. That's as good as it's been for them. And ours has been Robbie McKenzie's header from the post. That he, uh, Robbie McKenzie's header from distance that he hit the post. Robbie McKenzie's drive from even more out, further out that drifted just wide, and then a couple of shots that were charged down. But it's been. I think, yeah, we usually have started bright coming towards the radar then, but it, it's... Yeah, we just need some more pace and a little bit of unknown, but at the moment it's two poor sides down the bottom and that shows. The referee's just been poleaxed by a ball from about five yards. He's taken it on the jaw. And that's the highlight of the game so far, isn't it? That's the... Yeah, that literally is the highlight. Well, yeah, it could be, to be fair. Thankfully, he's up in all seriousness, but he's just taken a whack in the face. Chance here, Boston. All credit, John McKinley. Didn't give up a lost cause, did he? Won a free kick. Ball looks to be rolling out of play. He pinched it. It's a bit harsh to book it on Cole Moore, though, isn't it? Anyway, see if we can take advantage. Danny Lloyd over it. It's got to be a clip back post. Tucker, Bennett and the Dane Oliver all at the back post. We've made a change at the break as well, haven't we? Daniel had seen on from Max Amar. Come on, referee. Try not to get in the way. Comes a clip back post. Oh, I'm sure Williams has cleared it. The Dane Oliver's going to just let it run. Oh, he's kept it in. Stay with this. It's gone back to Adsley. He needs to get in the box now, though. Uh, it's gone all narrow. Well, it should have just let that run out and tried to throw it. We're going to go all the way home now. Uh, still nil nil. Come on, Danny Lloyd, good delivery from the corner. Back post. Right, are you? Danny Lloyd! 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 Danny Lloyd!
That's a good ball out wide though for Lloyd. Come on. Oh, he's offside. He does that a lot. Just doesn't look across the line. Still goal is, but Jim's on side. Another set player. We've got to make one of these count sooner or later, surely. Danny Lloyd, be good. He is good. He's not. Doesn't beat the front man. Show for him, McKenzie. Lloyd's the width. Lloyd's the width. Nah. Another corner for the Jules. How many is that? He's got his six this half already. He's been very good at Kindy. They can't defend that. They don't know how to play him. They don't want to get touched or He's running in behind. He's bullying them. Here he comes. Keeper's claimed it really well, to be fair. 66 played, still goalless. Another corner, boss. Generally lost count of how many we've had. It's got to be double figures this half. Just need one to be good. Yeah. 